I've been avoiding um, using CAD for years. To me, CAD standing for cardboard aided design. But I wanted to draw up some uh, motorcycle fork components. And so I thought it was about time I learned to use some software. And we have Design Spark print PCB at work, which is a bit of free software provided by um, RS Components. That's Radio Spares for those of you who are old enough. And uh, they are now doing a mechanical 3D package. Um, again, it's free. Uh, you do have to register, but you don't get intrusive amounts of, um, of email from them and I've been finding it really quite a frustrating process trying to get to grips with it. Um, partly it is the software and documentation. Uh, mostly I think it's my unfamiliarity with using a CAD package. But I thought I'd, I'd show you um, how powerful it can be and I was going to use the example um, from Ox Tools, um, Tom Lipton's Monday Night Meatloaf number 22, I think it was, um, where he was drawing up those end plates for the pipette stand. So this, this is the, um, the home screen, and the first thing we want to do is draw our rectangle of material. And we can enter the width 5 inch, and then it automatically goes to the other dimension, and that was 6 inch. And then we can use the pull tool and half an inch thick. I just hit the H key to go to home view. So now we're effectively going to be machining this block. And we want to create the feet down here. So I'm going to split that face. So I select that face to be split. And you see I get a horizontal and vertical line. Well, we don't want to split it horizontally, so if I come down to one of the edges I only get the split in one direction. And the box that's highlighted is a percentage of the uh, the length of that face, so we don't want that, we want the other box. And I believe Tom used a dimension of 7 eighths of an inch. Well, my brain works more metric than imperial these days. However, you can add, enter expressions into, so 7 over 8. So I'm going to select that face again to split it. If I've gone on the bottom edge, it's dimensioning from this end. If I select the top edge, it's then dimensioning from the other end. And again, 7 divided by 8. Now I can use the pull tool and five eighths. Now we want a radius in here, and that's still the pull tool. So I select this edge. And then if by holding down the scroll wheel, I can rotate the part. If I hold down control, I can select the other edge. Now we've got a yellow arrow sticking out here, which is showing the direction I need to um, hold down the left, mu left mouse button and drag to create the radius. And that was 0.5 inch. Hit escape, I get back to there. Let's go for a 
home view. So we need to pull these sides in. So again, we'll split the face. There's one inch up. We'll pull that face and that one. And by one inch. Use the better. So we want these um, to be chamfered. So we'll select that line, and then there's a little sub menu here that's radius and that's chamfer and again I'll use control to select the other one and one inch and then we want these radius. So go back to round. Flip the part over. Select the other two. And naught point. Two five. And then we want um, the hole in the middle. So we'll draw a rectangle. And we want the rectangle to be um, remember what we work but I'll call it three quarters of an inch down so we need to select plane to draw on and select Cartesian dimensions and I'm going to move the dimension base point put it there so now we're up uh, three quarters of a of an inch off the center line and well, we'll go three quarters of an inch both ways so that's one and a half inch wide four inch long and we can pull that down and cut it out radius oops we got a edge selected we don't didn't want
and go to a cross section view and then into a let's just zoom out a little and there's our part So I'm only really starting to um, to learn this. Um, the first thing I did was something fairly complicated, which is this damper rod assembly, and all the various bits. So the, this bottom, bottoming out cone, um, the three parts of the the check valve, topping out spring the rod itself and the two piston rings were all um, generated as separate um, files then imported and I can for instance treble click to select a whole object and then I can move that And you can now see the components. And if I select the axis of the part and go into section mode and then to plan view, let's rotate that round, go to plan and zoom the extents got a cross section of the assembly and uh, what I haven't experimented yet is with um, adding all the dimensions in but this is the existing damper rod I'm going to draw up the the new design that I want to make and hopefully be able to use that to um, machine up the new ones so I think it's worth downloading and having a play about with you need a, um, a fairly reasonable computer, I don't think you need anything too high end and I hope you found that interesting okay so here's our finished drawing and uh, See, it's 3D, but I'm going to the, the plan view of that. Now, I can then dimension this. So if I select the top edge and the bottom edge, Got our height in there. Let's zoom out a little. Put our width in. radius
I think that's uh, enough dimensions for us to have been able to um, to work from. So uh, that looks as if it works uh, reasonably well.